Before I got the password, <laughs> I erased him. So, I've been a fan of Ben 10 since I was a kid. However, unlike those who grew up with the classic Ben, I was subjugated to Alien Force and what came after. Except this. Fuck this. Get out, you toy mongering mother. But I wanted to sit down and just casually talk about some of the Omniverse redesigns with only a little bit of hate. I decided just to pick 10 designs I really liked and 10 I didn't. All ranked from worst to best. And before anyone starts thinking, oh, I can't wait for his thoughts on Fast Track or Jet Ray, I am only talking about the redesigns that were actually in the show and weren't drawn by Derek J. Wyatt years after he created Omniverse. Because these designs could have been reworked but honestly maybe not. Either way I don't really enjoy the green addition to them or some of the changes to them. But no hate to the guy, he's incredibly talented and provided a really great Ben 10 show despite what people say. But some revisions to these designs would probably help. Either or, I'll take these over whatever the reboot did. Oh god. And it will be strictly the main bent aliens, not an alternate Ben, not Ben 10,000, this one. And before I do start, I am not insulting the artists and artists who worked on the show, just the characters and designs and ranking them purely by my own tastes. Because in truth, I really do like all these designs and they have a lot of merit to them. Since I have been a fan for years and I do love the style, I rewatched Omniverse I think two years ago which I had a blast with. I've never hated Omniverse despite what the rats on multiple platforms say, Twitter, <coughs> and yeah it's not like I don't have any criticisms for the show but this is just meant to be a video of a fan talking about Ben 10. Anyways, let's get this started. And now the future looks like you. At the very bottom, lucky last, we have Swampfire. Were you expecting that? I chose Swamp Fire for the worst Omniverse design because it is such a crime against humanity because it just sucks. So much as a redesign. Because in Omniverse they had a design for Swamp Fire I don't actually hate and I think it's very clean. Because it actually blends in the Omniverse style with alien forces and overall looks cool. However, he just doesn't get any screen time beforehand. Seriously, I would have taken this over this. But the ironic thing about his design being dead Lars is that this design is really good. I would be lying if I didn't say this design wasn't cool and a unique design. But I hate what it stands for. It could have been an original alien that would have been Alien Force's Heat Blast. His new abilities are kinda cool and different from what Swampfire can do, which are just Fire Blast and Plant Growth. While this Swampfire has whips, can control plants, and overall is really cool. Like, tell me, when this guy moves, you don't think he's cool? S seriously, the pop collar as well. No At number 19, we have Big Chill, who surprisingly isn't dead last. Help him, his heart grew three times its size. When I first saw Omniverse's rendition of Big Chill, I vaguely remember as a kid just questioning what the fuck happened to him. I like how he can still cloak himself, but he's just too much an example of giving characters the wrong body proportions just to give them a different silhouette. Don't get me wrong, I think this sort of body type would have worked for another alien or again, even just an original one, but it just doesn't fit Big Chill. But Big Chill just loses that moth look he had and instead just looks like a six winged beefed up bat. At number 18 we have... Chromastone. I don't like Chromastone's redesign. It's that simple. If we're being technical, his first design is so much better because it had the original design with just a few tweaks with his crystals. And I know it's just one scene at the finale, but the second design sucks. I'm sorry. To give it credit though, I do like the spikes on his arms and legs, but the rest feels eh, so cheaply outfitted. Speaking of, his outfit doesn't look great or blend in well, while all they had to do was maybe blend some green into his arms or something. Later down the line you'll see what I mean by how green can work for some, but not all. As well as those dark markings becoming less dominant in his design. Not to mention I don't really like his face mask, which is ironic since I find anything with a mask to look infinitely cooler. Number 19 
number 17 is Spider Monkey, and he's just meh. Like, I like his color design, which isn't bad. It's not as great as the original. It lacks any body markings, and his face shape just does not work for his design. It doesn't help that this is the exact same face shape for Simeon, and it does not complement him well. This is the whitest man I've ever seen, and he's blue. Spider Monkey's face again doesn't look bad, it just doesn't suit him. At number 16 we have Blitz Wolfa, who is a bit flawed. Now, I don't have some deep connection with Ben 10. I did watch the first season, I think, a year ago. I don't know where I left off, but it was definitely after Ben kicked Vilgax's ass. But in Omniverse, it would be fine if he wasn't a 180 from what Ben Wolf was. I see what Derek was going for with Blitz Wolfa to make it more clear that he is based on a wolf. It's more prominent in the head. However, he's based on a four mouth splitting shaved wolf man. So for his redesign to look like this is a little basic. He doesn't have those fuck-ass hook claws, which don't blend well with the exaggerated forearms he has in addition to making him look like he skipped leg day. Number 15 is Upgrade. The main issue I have with Upgrade, surprisingly, isn't the eye. Well, I mean, I... at first I did, but now looking back at it, I'm not really a fan of it when you compare it to the normal eye. It like, basically removes his expressions, but his markings look less technic than in the original and Ultimate Alien. And I'm very on the fence about the color scheme. Like I don't hate it, but at the same time, it doesn't blend in well with the options that worked way better because of the white contrasting the black. Honestly, Goop is one of the more disappointing redesigns since I have always loved him in the second show. He was actually my favourite alien purely because he was a slime. Yeah, I wonder where I got my love for slime characters. But in Omniverse, he just looks like a Fortnite pickaxe. His watch is also on his saucer, so that's not great either. As well as his proportions are weirdly mixed up. That saying, I do actually enjoy the inverted gravity go along his body. As well as the thickness of his arms. But besides that, he just looks more like a horse and an alien. At number 13, we have Ghost Freak. I'm mixed on Ghost Freak. Now, I've seen his debut episode, and I loved his new design, but I'd, I think if they incorporated more of his creepy factor, it would have made him infinitely better. But I get it. Chains are great for symbolism to say that Ben's in control and no longer Ghost Freak all later to be known as a scare. But he ultimately loses that threatening design he had. He was a freak. That's his main gimmick. <laughs> At number 12 is Wild Vine, who's more of a case of just being less ugly. I really don't have a lot to say since his design is just kept the same. He just looks more clean and human looking rather than detailed and viney. I like the marking, consistent colour scheme, but it's, you know, better than the reboot. As an honourable mention, I wanted to include NRG because I really like his suit design. The extra bolts, the bulkier build, it looks cool when Tears see the pilot and his weird ass suit. Again, Chrome and Stone all over again. At number 11, the final of the bad designs is Lodestar. Lodestar to me is... I don't know. When it comes to determining if he's good or bad, it's difficult. In Alien Force, he was one of my top three favorite aliens, purely judging by his design. Next to, of course, Chroma Stone and Goop. But magnet powers with a magnet head was so cool. I don't enjoy that his marks are more spread out along his chest, except for the ones on his legs. They actually look cool, and his head looks less robotic than it was before. I mean, I get, I like his face shape, and his name does match the head, but it makes him look less metallic, even with the lighting there, and with the lack of bolts to nail that in. Whoa. 
Well done. At number 10, we have Cannonball, whose redesign is okay. I mean, overall, it's pretty good. I like him more than the other ones I had for the bottom 10. His plating isn't as big as before to most likely space out his facial features better, but, and he overall loses that part of his design that makes him look more like a panda. But I do like they don't add any unnecessary green clothing to him. I like Omniverse Snero. I mean, besides the bell losing the little bandage things near his head, and his body looking less and more like paper, he's really cool. I've always been fascinated with his power since I've even based an entire OC using that power. I like the new shape for him as well as the eyes just under his shoulder pads, as well as a more different colour scheme which spaces everything out, though I think he still could have had a different colour than just green. Now, I don't know if this is a controversial one, but I like Omniverse Ripjaws. I love everything else around him. His hunched over look, the more exaggerated body parts, the loin drooping down to the form of the tail. I, <laughs> I just found out why he had that when writing this. I'm a Ben 10 fan, but I missed that detail. Somehow. Please, I swear I am one. But overall, it's better than Ultimate Alien. I take that back. Ultimate Alien is better than the reboot. As much as I love the simplistic color scheme to Heat Blast, as well as his fire animation, I gotta say I love the colors for Omniverse more. It's such a drastic change that makes him look infinitely cooler to me. And I can't explain it, the dark and brighter velvet contrasting the rocks and the lava is such an excellent addition. And yes, I know this was seen for Alan, whatever he appeared in, Alien Force or Ultimate Alien. But overall, I really never get tired of seeing him in Omniverse. At number 6, we have the Kaiju Ultraman. I love Way Big's redesign, man, because it is an amalgamation of both the original and Alien Force designs. His first design looked like it had metal armor on its body, while the second aimed for a more Ultraman look. While Omniverse combines the markings, body shape, and mixes in the color skins of both Alien Force and the classic. <laughs> Not much I can really say. Can't wait for the Ultraman movie. I understood that reference. Who did it? Come on, fucking step up. Who the fuck cooked with Jerry Ray? I love this design so much because the other is just a fucking imp. That, that's, that's it. While this one leans more into the imp mechanic side to him that makes him unique. With goggles, gloves, a full on outfit, as well as unique facial features like a longer nose, eyes, sharp ears, it made him so much more appealing to look at. Now, this is the character who blends really well with Derek's art and design style. The chin for this character looks so much better than on some of the other aliens I did not mention. He's still just as bulky, it mixes the Ben 10 shirt well with his design. His name is Underpig! Longer back fins. Honestly, if it wasn't for the other ones, he'd be number one. When I remembered looking up Etel years ago, it felt like whiplash to see Omniverse's design of him that made his design so much better. Seriously, this Edel was such a major improvement over the predecessor. He really just looks like a guy in a suit that can chew through jaw breakers, while Omniverse leans more into the actually being a beetle. And I can't get over how this is really well done. It also allowed him to have a more contrasting color scheme while it was black and gray, while this design adds green as well as green lighting for the metal plates. Man. Shock Squatch received the best redesign in Ben 10 history. In his first appearance in Ben Gen, here at United, he looked like this. It just felt like a design they threw in for the hell of it with how he had no uniqueness to him. Honestly, this first design is my least favorite looking character in the franchise. You just lodged a couple of bolts into a monkey? 
Simplicity is deceptively complicated. But in Omniverse, he had a much more unique body proportions, back arch, looking more like a Sasquatch with the lighting pattern, black, white, and yellow color scheme with a green belt. It made his design stand out a lot better than the previous one. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna do different bends, but technically he's not Ben 10, so this counts. It would be a crime to say that the redesigns for Albedo aren't cool. Humongousaur is still as heavy, more dino-like, and the metal looks like it's painful. I think Ultimate Spider Monkey is definitely alright, but the spider legs are way better than the multiple arms. But I, yeah, they make sense why. I also do like the ultimate versions of Wrath, Arctic Wanda and Gravitac. I kind of wish they used more alien forms for Albedo though. You were thinking number one was Shock Squatch, right? But really, the design that stuck close to me throughout Omniverse that was so cool and unique was Water Hazard. I don't know who cooked, but they cooked hard with this. Water Hazard over the years to me has been fascinating because in truth, he just shoots water. What could he really do to stick so close to me in my heart? I honestly have no idea, but he's very cool looking. In Omniverse, I love the more metallic hood and shelling around his head. The barnacle looking portholes. The crap like legs on his waist. The random eyes on his chest and the spikes as well. And the only thing I'm mixed on is the slide on helmet that can be cool, but the eye pattern doesn't look as good. Either way, Water Hazard will always be my number one favorite redesign. And that's it. Again, all of these opinions are mine, and I just made this video since... Well, I've only been talking about negative stuff since Hasman Hotel. I mean, I did have a few good-hearted criticisms and discussions with Green Lantern and Hero Factory, but the basis still came from a breed of hate for the studio, the people, or the show itself. And before I leave off, if you guys want, I could even talk about the reboot redesigns, because I do have some thoughts on all of that stuff. <laughs> Oh, and if you want me to comment on any other Omniverse redesigns, or the aliens in general, including the left out ones, I'd actually be happy to say a few things. With all that said and done, Spirit out.